How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Sorry that I'm running a bit late today. Which button is it? Is it this one? Uh, I need to enable 14. There we go. Everyone having a good day so far? I'm having a pretty good day. I woke up at like, uh, unfortunately, I don't know what happened. This usually doesn't happen, but I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning, and, which is way, I don't, and I felt wide awake, so I went on my phone for a bit. Somehow got myself to fall asleep again. And then my alarm went off two hours later at six, and then I felt dead. Uh, I took a little nap though after work, so feeling good now. Ready to play some Final Fantasy. So let's get the music back going. Yo, 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 how's it going, BJ? How are you doing, man? Back in Eorzea at last. Ready to pick up where we left off finish and finish the night fight. We're not who we were when we left. We're stronger and wiser. So let's do it. Let's get back to Alamigo and defeat Xenos once and for all. I need to eat some more. <laughs> eat some more freaking uh, spinach. This guy keeps embarrassing me whenever I fight him. Xenos. Stop sign, Yukari, what's up? PJ, you were about to chat with Cherku? <laughs> I was running a bit late, I can't blame you. Also, crazy thing is I got my contact lenses, finally. It was like... It's been like a month. <laughs> I've been waiting that long. I finally got them over the weekend. So, it's good. Get rid of that glare, finally. That's, uh, that I get from, from the lights. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. No more glasses? Yep, not for now. Selty's sad because uh, she likes the glasses. I don't like glasses. <laughs> they get in the way. They're coarse, rough, irritating. They get everywhere. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'd rather dry my eyes out by putting artificial stuff on them with this. How far are you aiming today? Ah. Wherever this, wherever it takes me. Yeah, I have no idea where, where I'll get to. I just got back to Limza Lominza from uh from the far east so it seems like xenos is my next target in alamigo i have no idea if i'm strong enough to take him um hopefully <laughs> hopefully i am maybe the power of friendship will help or something we'll see what happens here we are home at last i must say the journey passed more quickly than i had expected that would be due to the absence of otherworldly interference i expect uh, I should be glad if we did not speak of that unpleasantness again. <laughs> Maybe you can swap between contacts and glasses from day to day. Maybe. I only wear, put on contacts right before stream since I stare at the computer screen for eight hours in the morning. Uh, and, you know, until afternoon. So I do that. And then, you know, after I take my night... Sh my sh After I come back from the gym and stuff, I'll take my glasses or my contacts off, so... She can get a little bit of glasses, but I guess I could. I mean, I did spend a good amount of money on them, so maybe I should try to wear them a little bit. Chaotix, guess who's got their full crafted gathering gear just now? Oh, dude, congratulations! Was that hard to do? Was that super time-consuming? Oh, two pieces left to craft, but yeah. So you, you have the materials, it's just a matter of crafting it? Is that where is that where you're at right now? Never used contacts for, before. You wonder what they feel like? You could probably get a trial. You could do it. I mean, it costs extra money, unfortunately, when you go to the eye doctor for a contact lens fitting, and they'll put it in for you. Kind of weird at first, because you could definitely feel like something is on your eye, and it's it's weird. But after a while, it's it's not so bad. Oh, it's not super difficult. Just time consuming. Okay, that's cool. Something to maybe play some different music in the background or watch a video while doing it. Yo 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 yo! What's up, Jaff? How are you doing, man? Um, but in spite of all that and more, we return better from the, for, the ex for the experience, and more importantly, triumphant. What's up? You gotta save for Lazic as well? 
You know what? I want to get Lazic, but my eyesight progressively gets worse and worse every year. And when you get Lazic, it doesn't permanently um, fix your eyes. Uh, Ryan Higa, the YouTuber and now Twitch streamer, he got Lazic and, um, a long time ago, and his eyesight got worse and worse again. Now he has to have wear glasses again. So that's the only thing turning me off from Lazic, where um, it's not like a permanent fix, and you probably have to get it again. Or, I don't know. So that's, that's kind of... I would love Lazic though, because it's just, well, I'll get up in the morning and everything's blurry. Kind of don't like that. Yes, happy Monday. You watch the streamer while gathering and crafting. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hope you all beautiful people have had a dope ass day. I know I have. Besides for waking up at 4 a.m. Other than that, today's been pretty good. Yeah, BJ, that's, I only found that out recently. That's the only thing stopping me. So keep that in mind. Just, um. Especially if you're on the computer a lot and stuff, you know, you never know. Your eyesight will start to get worse again. You're, you'll probably need glasses again in uh, maybe 10 or so years. I don't know. Depends on, probably depends on the person. I'm not, I, I'm not giving medical advice. <laughs> Just all what I heard from a few streamers. Indeed. And with Doma freed of Imperial oppression, it is only right that we turn our thoughts to the plight of Alamigo. Well, I'm all for that, obviously, but I think you should go and see the refugees at Revenant's Toll before doing anything else. They'll be thrilled to hear what we've accomplished, and it's sound best coming from you. Thank you. I shall do as you suggest. I see I'm not too late. Admiral, what are you doing here? The East Aldenard Trading Company informed me of your impending arrival. I have tidings I thought best to share with you in person. Oh, God. From Girabanya? Aye. The Alliance still holds the wall despite several Imperial counterattacks, but we, but we have been unable to press further into occupied territory. <laughs> Commander Kemp and his men, meanwhile, have made great strides toward rebuilding their depleted ranks. They've even taken it upon themselves to attempt some, attempt some few operations, with uh, mixed results, I'm sorry to say. Twas a complication arising from one such venture which moved me to seek you out. During a mission to transport wounded resistance fighters to the Rising Stones, Kryle Bal- Kryle, Kry yeah, was taken prisoner, as I saw in the cutscene. Kryle? Do they know where she's being held? They do not, but your comrades were informed at once, and I am told Thancred is in gear Banya looking for her as we speak. How could this have happened? We must seek out Thancred without delay. Nay, Kryle taught me better than that. He'd be unwise to act without first acquiring a full understanding of the situation. Thank you for informing us. Tired though we may be, we must make haste to Castramorians. Pray excuse us, Admiral, Lady Yuguri. Always so polite, that Alfinol. You had issues uh, sleeping last night and woke up exhausted, dehydrated, and sore. You went to work an hour late? Oof. Sorry to hear that, man. You feeling any better now? And done. I need to insert material. Good. Oh my goodness, I have not been to Limza Laminza in weeks. Because I've just been in the Far East all this time. I haven't really come back here, I don't think, to my, my memory. Boy, did I miss this. You're alright, took a nap when you got home? Good stuff. You and I are on the same boat. I basically just had to take a nap right when I was done with work. As soon as I was done, I just went straight to bed. <laughs> the beauties of working from home. Here, Banya. Guys, I, it's crazy, so um, I'm trying to fight my fried food addiction. I know we always mean about how much I love fried chicken, but I'm trying to take it a little more seriously, because I eat fried foods almost every day, and I'm trying to reduce that. I've tried dieting and meal prepping stuff with nothing fried, but then I, a week later or so, I'll, I'll have withdrawals and then eat at McDonald's three times in the week. It's really bad. So I'm trying to trick my body. So I know it's, I'm not really like reinventing the wheel or anything, but I made, I meal prepped some oven-made fries and oven-baked breaded chicken so my body can think it's close enough to fried you know eating fries and chicken strips or something <laughs> it's not it's not not quite as good but it's like close enough i think i hope it definitely does feel like it's missing some juiciness from the from the from the oil bath but barely use any oil in it i'm trying to be healthy i also put um i also oven roasted some uh, broccoli 
So I'm really proud of myself. If hopefully I shouldn't be too proud yet. Hopefully I stick to it because there's been times where I've meal prepped and then three days in I'm like I'm not eating the rest of this. This is disgusting. I'm going to In-N-Out. <laughs> so wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna try to stick to eating my meal prep. I guess I'll report back to you guys. I mean, I only eat it during the week, so I'll let you guys know during stream. Yo, gotta keep fit, my man. Honestly, I've gained weight. Um, when halfway through the pandemic, I had lost weight because I'd lost muscle from sitting around at home, working at home. I went down to like, I weighed like 108 at my low, or 106 or 8 at my lowest. It was really bad. I was super thin. And now I'm up to 100, I actually gained like 10 pounds. So I'm up to like 118, 19. Last night I was 119.9, so basically 120 after eating five tacos. <laughs> so I've gained a little weight. Still like I still look like a stick though, but yeah, I am going to the gym five days four or five days a week. So trying to gain gain weight and muscle. Trying to lose yeah, trying to be healthier. <laughs> Try cooking chicken in the oven instead of fried chicken. That's what I did this week. I have an air fryer, but it's sitting in the garage. I need to get that out and uh and uh, get rid of the dust so I could use that. I feel like that's still not like healthy because I'm breading the chicken and using a little oil, but better than deep frying. Or even grilled. I did grilled chicken for a while, but then I didn't stick with it. So that's why I'm trying oven baked. So it's like a baby step towards not eating something fried. <laughs> Eventually, I do want to be viewing grilled chicken. There you are. Have you heard the news? In broad strokes from Adderall, what happened? Go, Andrew, go! I'm trying. I'm doing my best. I'll try to stick to it. I'm purposely saying it on stream in front of you guys so that I look really stupid if I don't do it. So it hopefully inspires me to stick with it. Kryle and a squadron of resistance, resistance fighters were escorting Ishtola and several other wounded to the Rising Stones for further treatment when they were ambushed by Imperial forces. Aaron Vald and his men fought valiantly, but in the chaos... I will make no excuses. We fail to protect her. Do not be so hard on yourself. You protected your soul and the others, did you not? Tell us about the attack. It was the skulls. They knew a path across the wall we hadn't found. We thought we were safe once we reached the Black Shroud. They weren't expecting an ambush. During the fighting, I caught a glimpse of their leader's memories. It was all planned. The advantage of having a walker in the field. I'm not as strong in the Echo as Andrew is, of course. Half the time, it's enough to knock me on my arse, like I've taken a dose of concentrated ether. So you walked in Fordola's memories. What did you see? A woman promised the world. Education, training, citizenship, citizenship, all that and more if she sold her soul. A traitor to her people, a pretender to her masters. It was Zenos, Zenos himself who gave the order. Told her to return with, with Kryle alive. Our agents have been carefully monitoring Imperial communication since the attack, but have yet to intercept any transmissions making reference to Kryl or her current whereabouts. If their orders were to bring Kryl back alive, we can save her if we move quickly enough. As you say, time's of the essence, which is why I intend to slip past enemy lines and see what information I can uncover on my own. In the meantime, it is up to you and our and your allies. It's up to you and our allies to command the Imperials' undivided attention. Should have sh lots of shouting and explosions and so forth. Keep them distracted and I will find her. Very well. I wish I could do more to aid you, but I understand. Commander Kemp is on his way to the castrum as we speak for a meeting with General Alt. If you hurry, you could find him on the road and discuss the situation beforehand. Oh god, I hope Thanker doesn't get captured too. I don't expect it, because, I mean, he's kind of the master of espionage. I think Andrew and I are gonna, going to go see Conrad like he suggested. You all wait here. Oh, thank you. I'm going to need that hydration from all this reading I'm doing. Thank you for that, BJ. Appreciate that, man. Let me mark that. Oh my god, did I ever stroke Shercoon six days ago? What was six days ago? One, two... On last Tuesday? I feel like I did. I always got you, bro. Appreciate it, man. 
Okay, we're going southeast. I'm so close to max level, it's crazy. Then I'm gonna switch to being a samurai. I'll just pretend like I'm in Demon Slayer. I'm like Katana. Oh, here's Conrad. One of my best friends is named Conrad, so I think of him <laughs> when I see this guy. Well, well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? It fills my heart with joy to see you two hale and healthy. Welcome home, Lise, Andrew. I'm sure you've heard about Kral by now. That's why we're here. I'm still not sure what to think about it, but we'll save her. We'll definitely save her somehow. Aye. I have no doubt that you will. You look stronger for your time in the Far East, lass. That's good news for Kryle. I'd like to think so, but enough about me. How's everything with you and the Resistance? Better than when you last saw us, no mistake. Erenvald's been a godsend. Him and Monago and all the other young bloods have achieved so much in such a short time. We've been blessed to receive the support of the Flames, Alamegan Brigade, who've been instrumental in freeing our countrymen from labor camps throughout Garibanya, as well as some po political prisoners from the city proper, believe it or not. Together with the refugees returning from Ulda and elsewhere, we've had no shortages of able-bodied men and women eager to join the cause. I knew you wouldn't stop fighting, even after what happened at the Reach. Force of habit, I suppose. Though we've come a long way, we're still we're still far we still have far to go, but we'll fight for every ilm. And sooner or later, we'll get Alamigo. Sorry, I'm like just a little bit too far, and it's like hard to read the text. But the stupid my chair keeps sliding backwards. As I scoot forward, it just slides right back. Oh well, I guess this is where I'll be. Can you change this font size? If I could make this bigger, that'd be nice. Let me see. FFX14 dialogue font size. Oh. Right click. Oh, nope. That's not it. Nope, that didn't do it either. I just. Now I skipped text. Okay, um. Can I go into settings anywhere else? Increase the dialogue box. Yeah, let me just talk to you. Oh, there we go. Oh, now it works. Um, it's at 100. Let's put it at, like... Oh, jeez, that's humongous. You set a limit on 100? Let me fix that, because... People are trying to drown me. I think that's why I put a limit. <laughs> okay, I think I could read that a little bit better. My eyesight sucks. As I was just talking about getting new contacts, you wanted to drown me? I know you did. That's people like you or why I had a limit. Just like the push-ups, I had to put I had to put a limit on push-ups. You guys trying to kill me. Freaking, you know what Salty my wife did once? She was watching my stream and I just finished I was really thirsty and I finished drinking a lot, and right when I finished drinking, she hi she sent me a hydrate. I was like she said she was waiting for it. I'm like, you know what? You're evil. Okay. Let's get going. Love that big text. A little salty shanda. Yeah, she troll. You know, it's finally catching up to me. I troll her so much, guys. I it, it must be so annoying to live with me. I'm quite the prankster, and I, I troll her a lot. And now she's starting to get back at me. It took a few years, but now my wife is is getting the revenge on me. It's crazy. It's unfair. <laughs> no wonder you said hydrate limits? Yeah. Just like push-ups. That was like abuse. Yeah. Hey, oh, what's up, Hannah? How's it going? It isn't fair. I should be the only one. Um, I should be the only one being able to do this. You haven't spoken with Thrank? You've sp oh, fuck, I missed it. No! You apparently can die from drinking a lot of water, if what I heard is correct. So I'm doing it for my own safety. Doing good, just got back from your beach vacation yesterday. Oh, that's awesome! How was the beach vacation? Revenge of Selty-chan? Oh my god, she always hits me whenever I'm like, Why are you messing with me? I would never mess with you. And she gets angry, and then she hits me. Because... <laughs> we both know that that's not true. 
I believe I hear Commander Kemp's party approaching. If you are ready to address Father and the others, let us be about it. Is this just a ring, or...? Wait. Can I see what I... Can I compare it to what I have? What item levels are my ring? 240? Oh, shoot, these are better! Oh, no, two se Oh, yeah, 279! I've been skipping all these. What am I doing? Oh my god. I haven't paying attention. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. Is all good? Went to the aquarium too? That's really awesome. If you don't mind me asking, what area did you go to? If you don't want to say it on Twitch chat, that's fine. But if you do want to share, I'm curious to kind of which area you went to. If you went like out of state or out of, just out of town or something like that. She's just showing you her love. Very tough love. Oh, Carolina Beach. Awesome. That's cool. I'm really glad you had a really glad you had a good vacation. That's awesome to hear. 263. Oh. 4:30. Huh, so this ring is still better. Nah, that's whatever. I'm overleveled as fuck anyway. You, Raban, and your allies have much to discuss, okay. There you are, and there is Commander Kemp, I see. I know you were eager to speak of our of our next move, but we would first hear of, hear more of your last of your last. <laughs> tell us of your deeds in Doma. Sorry, that's such an awkward read. Okay. Let's tell my buddy about it. I salute Selty, she's watching the stream right now. She's actually not. Ever since I started streaming earlier, she uh, doesn't she can't actually watch my stream anymore. Because, um, whoops. Because uh, she's at work still. I get out of, I start work earlier than her, but I get out way earlier. Pray, join me in welcoming our Scion allies, but recently returned from their mission to the Far East. We have been most eager to hear a first-hand account of your time there, eventful as we understand it was. Very well, allow me. Tell him the whole story. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. Doma, free after all these years. Mm hmm. My sister lives down there now, so we visited her for my nephew's birthday. That's awesome. Wow, that's really great. I mean, it's nice. Beach, was the weather really great? Because, I mean, well, I would know because I live close to the beach. I'm, like, 10 minutes from the beach. Super nice weather all year long. So, hope you hope you had some good time. Hopefully, there weren't too many people at the beach, too. That's always kind of the most annoying thing when there's too many people. Bloody hells. Flooding their own castle for a better chance of victory. We could learn a thing or two from that lad. Mm-hmm. Whatever it takes. Our agents report a flurry of communications between Garlemald and Alamigo in recent days. It is plain they are in the midst of deliberating their response to the Doman uprising. Hmm. It was 85 degrees and windy. Oh, that's perfect beach weather. That's hot anywhere else, but if you're at the beach, that's that's really good. That's that's just right. Get, it feels good getting in the water at 85. The way to leave early because a hurricane was coming. Oh, God! Okay, that's not perfect. <laughs> at least you got out of there early. BJ, once you get abs, you'll hit the beach. You know what? If I don't eat and I flex my abs and I flex myself, like I have abs, but as soon as I eat, you see like it looks like I got a beer belly or something. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, but my honeymoon is in because uh, I got married in February. But my honeymoon we booked way later in the year in October, going to Hawaii. So I got to make sure that I got the I got the beach body before I go on my honeymoon in October. I have some time. Got a few months still. I think I got four months. I got like a little under half a year. If I, so if I keep at it, I got to go on the treadmill longer. I'm only on the treadmill for like 15 minutes each day. I should probably treat like up it to 30 minutes or something. I don't know. Good. Every Imperial unit in occupied territory will be on the lookout for civil unrest. The fear of leaving critical locations undefended will make commanders think twice about committing their forces, giving us a chance to seize the initiative. 
Get as a souvenir? <laughs> I'll bring stuff back, don't you worry. She actually wants me to move in with her. I'm not sure if I want to leave my quiet mountain town for the hustle and bustle of the city. It would take some getting used to. There's pros and cons of both. My parents moved out of kind of like the suburbs into a mountain, little mountain town, and it, it, you know, there's they love the quiet and you know the lower cost of living, but they miss the variety of food. Cause I mean, if you go to that beach, I'm sure the food was probably was the food really great over there? Cause you get more options if you do that. If we have a chance, I. Mayhap the last one we're ever gonna get. If we keep on playing for Whoops. smaller prizes, it's only a matter of time before they crush us again. And that we won't come back from. A swift advance seems best for all concerned. Not least poor Mistress Cryo. The variety was amazing? Ah, nice. <laughs> Chaotix, you love not living in a city? Do you, is it pretty quiet where you live, Chaotix? Oh, you had some Lomen um, there, and that was amazing. That's awesome. My favorite thing about living near the beach is fish and chips. Um, it's just not the same when you get it somewhere where it's clearly frozen and pre-made and some and stuff. I love fish and chips. I gotta have fish and chips like almost once a week because I it's just I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I just love my fish and chips but if I but in a few years I am gonna be moving back to my hometown where it's the lower cost of living and less variety further from the city just because to save money and you know eventually want to have kids so Gotta leave the nice little beach area. It's so expensive here. Ah, you like the quiet life, Chaotix? That's cool. Where I'm going is a city. It's a bigger city, but it's just far from the beach. The weather sucks. Um, and uh, just not as much variety as here. There are certain other good foods there, but, you know. I'm gonna miss the variety from here. That's the thing. You wanted to try fresh seafood, but your family hates fish? Oh, no! Well, honestly, at a lot of seafood places, they sell chicken and stuff, too, because, you know, there's always going to be people that don't like fish that, you know, get dragged along in the party. I can I can say that from experience, because, I you know, I live by the beach. I know what I've eaten at a lot of seafood places, and they sell hamburgers, and they sell, like, grilled chicken and stuff, so there's options. Marth, you're close to downtown L.A.? It's expensive. I would love to be close to L.A. for the food, but I'd probably gain weight. <laughs> Hey, bro, I feel you in being expensive. Yeah, dude. Oh, I get that. My significant other's leaving California to be with me. Oh, he's going to miss the food um, and the weather probably, but that'll be, that's really nice of him to move to be with you. Yeah, I'm going back, Jeff. It's, it's um, you know, costs a lot less money. I have family there. My wife has family there. So if we have kids, we'll have a lot of help, so... It just seems like the right thing to do. I can actually probably afford a house there. Um, I can't afford the housing where I live. It's... God, where is it? It's, um... It, the, the median housing price where I live is like $700,000, $600,000 or so, but the place I want to go is like $200,000. So, and I work remotely, so hopefully I keep the same salary and move somewhere cheaper. That's the That's the idea. Hopefully it works out. Oh, he's moving for the lower cost of living. Oh, so where you live is... Okay, that makes sense. That's cool. You want to start a family? Good stuff. Hey, I'm on the same boat as you. We're probably, like, around the same age. I'm 30. So, yeah, I want to start a family as well. Soon enough. I need to save up. I've got to let you come over before I go back. I do live in a pretty sweet area. 31? There we go. Millennial gang. Right there? Yep, you know. You know how it goes. It's tough. Do you have family like bugging you like, hey, the clock's ticking. Why aren't you having any kids yet? Cause I get a bunch, I get that. Like, you guys are getting so old. Why don't you have any kids yet? It's like, cause I'm not ready. <laughs> I can't afford it. Your mom wants you to have kids? Oh, dang. Is your significant other gonna have to get a new job? No more time. The campaign for Alamegan liberation begins now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Raidchound, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate that. Everyone here, um, welcome to the stream. I am a noob playing, I'm a noob playing, I'm like <laughs> stumbling on my words now. 
Um, former WoW player. I played WoW from 2006 to 2021, till this year. I quit, picked up 14, and I'm loving it so far. Just going through the MSQ. So yeah, anyone that's brand new that wants to stick around, I, I stream Final Fantasy XIV's MSQ Monday to Thursdays, 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, yeah, Fridays I do variety Nintendo games, if you guys are into that. Ragehound. Oh, you saw former WoW and was like, ah, yes, a new friend. All right, yeah, dude, I'm gonna, I gotta follow you right now. Former WoW, dude. So how long did you, uh, how long did you play WoW for? And uh, when did you quit? That's awesome. Glad to hear. Glad to hear you moved. Oh, your SO lost, lost job at a, uh, lost job at Disney. Oh man, sorry to hear that. I used to be an an annual pass holder at Disneyland. So did your significant other, Hannah, always get your when your when your SO started working at Disneyland? Did sudden like distant friends from a long time ago just hit them up saying, "Hey, buddy, long time no see, want to sign me into Disneyland?" <laughs> I hear about that all the time. Oh my god, it's so funny how suddenly suddenly all these long lost friends show up out of nowhere. It's hilarious. I hear about that's so funny how that works. Raychound, you didn't. You almost played it. Oh, I see. I'm really you really dodged a bullet there, let me tell you. <laughs> that um Yeah, it's especially I mean if you played WoW a long time ago, the game was better. You know, obviously I'm a former WoW player, so the game must have been at least playable at some point. But right now it's not in a good state. So uh you dodged a bullet. So then um how long have you been playing 14? They worked in uh, the New Orleans section for the Princess and the Frog. They made the parasols. Oh my god, did your SO ever eat the beignets from there? Oh my god, they're so good. I, I ate those almost every time I was there. And I'd always overorder. I'd get way too many. But New Orleans Square is lovely. She loved it? Oh, that's awesome! Legion was the last decent expansion. That's very true. You were about to make an account, but then all your friends, uh, all your friends, uh, j oh, sorry, like, Twitch chat shifted around, I, like, lost my place. You had to make an account, then all my friends had already jumped ship, so I just started on 14, so I feel like I made a good call one whole year. Oh, good, you uh, yeah, you made a good, a very good call. Very lucky that your friends jumped ship. Very, I'm very happy for you, because, um, if you started playing WoW, you would have been a little sadder. Hannah, she loved it. <laughs> As a career healing main, probably a good decision. So what games were you playing before? Um, Ragehound. So it sounds like you dodged WoW, but you, you know, you, you, you've played healer before, so... Uh, what games were you playing before this? <laughs> Hannah, I'm the big gay. Hey, no problem with that. Nothing wrong with being gay ever. We're all human beings. I don't understand people that are hateful towards gay people. Or straight people, you know, whatever. We're all just... We're all just people, <laughs> so no hate for sure. Fellow healer main, ooh, nice. Oh, you're astrologin. Good stuff. We got two astrologins. Bro, auto mod be broken. Yeah, auto mods ridiculous on a uh, on Twitch. <laughs> it's so dumb. Before I was on Paladin, before I was on Paladin's competitive and Overwatch. Oh, nice, nice. Competitive. Astrologin best job. I like clicky heals. Good stuff. Yeah, Hannah, my, it was really funny. You know, having a gay friend was really awesome when I was, uh, i just gotten out of high school. I was in the youth group thing. It was really funny because my friend was, uh, she was a lesbian and she was like a bro. She was, she was always, <laughs> she was the biggest perv. It was really hilarious because we, she wanted me to go to Hooters with her. She was too shy to go by herself. She's like, hey, I want to go to Hooters. You want to come with me? I said, I can't, I don't have money right now. She's like, no, 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 I got you. I'll pay for you. But let's go to Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> and she is, she liked blondes, so when we go to Hooters and like a blonde girl walk by, I just see her go. Oh. <laughs> so that always cracked me up. Sounds like my SO. Are you, are you friends with? What's your SO's name? Jeez, is this is my is your SO my friend? <laughs> from Cal, I'm from California. I was like, what the heck? That'd be a really hilariously small world. White mage. What, we got like ha oh, everyone's a healer in here. That's awesome. You know, I always felt like I needed to go healer because 
you know, and wow, no one wanted to play healer. So, uh, I, I was, I just made a white mage because it was the easiest healer, even though I don't really particularly enjoy it. I did it to take one for the team, but man, it looks like we got a good amount of healers in the game. This is awesome. People that actually like healing. Uh, Raychan, what data center are you on, by the way? I'm on Brynhildr. I play on the, uh, or sorry, the crystal data center on the Brynhildr server. What about you? You got all your healers to 80, but you love astrology the most. That's cool. Let's definitely go to Hooters. Yeah, just quote the office when you go to Hooters. I'd like your finest chicken breast. Hold the chicken, right? <laughs> you still got to work on your white mage. Oh, Donna. Okay, no. That is not the name of my friend. <laughs> that would have been so hilarious if, you know, she even had the same first name. I'd be like, hold up. <laughs> that sounds like me and my fiance. We went on a date to um, a dance club. Now I was in a gay panic for 30 minutes. <laughs> a dance club. I like how you put that in quotes. You don't want to... You got to gotta keep it family friendly, right? <laughs> I have an alt on crystal. Main is on... Oh, your main is on primal. Primal was the very first uh, data center I was on. I was on Hyperion. Then I moved. Oh my god. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, I don't... Twitch tried to stop you from saying she's a huge perv. You love her for... There's nothing wrong with that. I don't care. It's not like you're doing ear-looking ASMR. That's where I draw the line, but I think that this is fine. <laughs> he went Ultros because Ultros best villain. I'm kind of slow as Ultros from previous Final Fantasy games because, um... Wait, what? Push-up request? Hold on. You're trolling. There's no way. There's no way. Oh my god, you did do put. You did. I'm sorry, I actually didn't see that. Push-up request. All right, well... You redeem the points. Those are expensive. All right, these are your, for your channel point redemptions. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to do 10 push-ups. Hey. Ray Chow, thank you so much for the follow. I'm about to suffer 10 push-ups. I'm... Here we go. Uh, see? So I don't cheat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. I've been going to the gym. I thought these would be easier. Why, why does it feel like this is harder? It feels like it's harder to do push-ups now. I want, I, cause I got heavier. Oh my God. Oh. He's indeed an octopus boy. Oh, wait, wait. Any hoodle, uh, off, off to get ready for a date. Enjoy the game. Thank you. Hey, have fun on your date. Have a good date. Thank you again for the raid. And I hope to catch one of your future streams and I hope to see you around. Yeah. My body's ready. Yes, have a nice date. Take care. Does that have some agua? Oh, wait, I switched to the wrong scene. How about, uh, no? No? Sorry, I changed my hotkeys recently. <laughs> so I don't remember what I'm doing. Just you mourning for water? Oh my god. Yeah, if you ever need a healer, Phil, look up. Oh, here, let me add you. Crystal Curl, okay. I got you. Thank you, I'm gonna add you. I have a cheat sheet where I list everyone that I've met on Twitch and their names. Okay. I'm pasting you into my spreadsheet so I can remember to add you. Well, Twitch name is Rage Hound. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. You are awesome. Thank you again. Enjoy your date. Please, please, please enjoy your date. All right. I've been saving points. I got 8k now. Wait. Chaotic, what are you saving for? I'm scared. That's really scary that you have that many points. I'm signing to Primal at the moment, but I'll pop I'll pop you in when I'm back uh, uh, to Prague and Crystal. Sounds good, man. I can't wait for cross data center travel so you can kind of just, you know, work on one character. That's awesome. Our first objective will be to capture Castellum Valadina. Take the bridge, and the whole of the fringes will be ours. From there, we can push east towards the peaks. Aye, 
I named this operation Rulger's Beacon. For as Rulger once sent his star to guide our ancestors to these lands, so too shall it see us home. I can't believe it. I think I've actually gained 10 pounds since the last time I did push-ups on stream. No wonder it was so much harder. Jeez. The, su the, su the success of this operation is paramount. So long as the Empire holds ca uh, Castellum Veladina, the main host cannot advance. Xenos knows this, which is why he has ordered Ferdola and her men to see to the bridge's defense. It's because you've been eating so good? <laughs> yeah. Not healthy, but good. That's a <laughs> difference there, huh? So we'll get to fight the Skulls again. The Butcher is not to be underestimated. She is decisive, ruthless, and feared by foes and friends alike. But we have a plan to defeat her. First, we send an alliance force down the main road, signaling our intention to mount an all-out assault. The garrison will muster their forces and prepare for a protracted battle. However, they will soon find that they are ill-prepared for the counterattack. Our men will begin to break ranks and flee. I see. Show them your backs and give them a good target too tempting not to pursue. Aye, Fordola is too aggressive not to press the advantage. She will order her men to give chase. We lure them as far as, as, as East End where the co uh, commanders will rally their forces and attempt to hold their ground. If all, goes to, as, if all goes to plan, we should be able to keep the greater part of the garrison occupied. Leaving us to tackle the bridge's remaining defenders. Very clever, I'm sure. But what are we to do if the Imperial smell a rat in return before we've taken the place? I don't need you to take Veladina, Commander Kemp. All I need for you is to fly your flag from its tower. You mean to trick them into believing that the bridge has fallen? Aye. We convince them Veladina's lost, hit them hard with our reinforcement, and watch them go running for the hills. Then, when the dust has settled, we, re we regroup at the Castellum. Castellum, what say you? Good plan. It's a bold plan, but a good one. We'll do it. In, ca in that case, we shall support both the Resistance and the Alliance forces. Andrew, Lise. Ehrenwald, I ask that you accompany Commander Kemp. Alize and I will remain with the Flame General. We will return to Ralgar's Reach and make our preparations. As soon as they are complete, we will join you in the field. Godspeed. Oh my god. My neck killing me. Okay, where the heck do I go? I need to adjust the uh the message box again, let me see. Whoops. Oh, it's the left mouse button. Okay, it's kinda cut off here. This is probably cool. So we're going to... Ralger's Beacon. I need too much materia, good lord. It's all worth it. You'll have the best gear. Shit, what was the name of it? Uh, Northeastern. 253 Gatherer's Grass Materia 7. Holy god, that's a lot. What the heck? 253. Do you have to craft it all, or are you gonna buy some? Let me just text my wife what she wants for dinner, because I really... I cooked earlier, and I really don't want to cook for dinner again. I cooked for... Like, throughout the day, I was cooking my meal prep for the week, because I didn't do it yesterday, because I streamed... I streamed Super Mario RPG yesterday instead of doing my meal prep. <laughs> and that bit me in the booty today.
I texted my wife asking if she wants fish and chips for dinner. I'm craving it today. To get, to get it, you gather collectibles and then trade them in for scripts. Then you buy the material with those scripts. Interesting. Very cool. I'm going to definitely be bugging you when I hit level cap. Trying to understand how I kind of get my head wrapped around all that. In case you haven't noticed, the flag flying above Veladina is a bloody ma is bloody massive. It'd take a dozen men to change it, and far too long. Besides, there's no need for all that, right, Monago? Didn't you have that last week? Those must have been some good fish and chips. Oh yeah, dude, it's the best fish and chips, and it's at the same place where I ing I proposed to, to Salty. So maybe there's also that little special thing there too, but. I don't know, there's a few different fish and chip spots that are top-notch by me, and they're both exactly, like, right by the ocean, so I guess that's no coincidence. There's also some kind of average ones, too, but... Man, fish and chips, I'm... I'm just always craving it. I think I crave it, like, every day. I ate so healthy today. All I had was, like, oatmeal and vegetables, and a couple pieces of the chicken and potatoes I made, and some, uh, <laughs> broccoli. Yeah, I gotta get it while I can. When I go... What I'm gonna do is when I move back to my hometown that's very far from the ocean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna order, you know, good quality, um, you know, wild cod and have it shipped to me frozen and then I'll just make it. I know how to make fish and chips. I'm just lazy for the most part. Fish is healthy though, ain't it? Not the way I cook it. Not the way I eat it. Beer battered and deep fried. <laughs> I make a fi I make an unhealthy, I make a healthy dish unhealthy very fast. Moving back home gonna make them not taste so good? Yeah. That's why I'm just gonna make it myself. Best way to have it? Yep. Mmm, beer. It still counts. That's my excuse. It still counts. Yep. You know what? I haven't cooked fish and chips lately. Just because there's so many good restaurants near me that sell it. Um. Okay, yes. She said, yeah, my wife's laughing at me. She said, LOL in all caps. Sure. <sighs> Guess it's a joke. <laughs> I always want fish and chips. Best way to have it. Deep fried. It's so good. So I've always used light Japanese beers and regular Japanese beers in my, my fish and chip recipes. But I bought some Guinness. Because I just want to see, you know, a dark beer. I want to see what happens. Just see if it tastes different, if the batter's darker, if it makes no difference. Guys, let me just tell you that it's so easy to make fish and chips. All you do is you buy cod. You slice them if they're too huge. Just slice them into a smaller piece. Coat it in flour, then in, a, in just plain old dry flour. Then in another mixture, you mix um, one cup beer, one cup flour. Or was it one cup flour, two cups beer? I'll have to check. I think it's one cup flour, two cups beer, or one to one, one to two ratio. Mix it together, then you dunk the fish into the liquid mixture. So it's fish goes into flour, liquid mixture, and then into the hot oil. That's it, super easy. Super delicious, super smooth. Only like three ingredients. I guess you could add salt and pepper if you would like. And that that's fish and chips. It's that easy. It's just a little messy, but I guarantee you it's good every time. You could even buy the cod frozen. It's still good. Not so long as I have my griffin and a satchel of glamour prisms. No. Ehrenvald, you're in charge of the runners between us and the Alliance. No link pearls. Lease. I want you to look into... I, I want you to look in on the squadrons. Make sure they've got everything they need. Everyone clear? Aye, sir. All forces are to depart to Gest Castellum Corvi when ready. That'll be all. Andrew, stay with me a moment, if you would. Mm. There's a few men I'd like you to look in on personally. Each of them has lost people, and I can tell that it weighs on their hearts. Ooh, yep. That's the secret recipe. The not-so-secret recipe. Yeah. Oh, you're in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I am. I look at this stick staying behind. There have been a lot of new faces since you last were here. So it's best if I just tell you where to look. Made you say that? Yeah, exactly. I'm in trouble. <laughs> One's an officer of finding the barber, and others an older fellow who likes to pass the time on the shore of Starfall. The last is a fiery young lad from Little Alamigo, who I'm told trains by himself by the river to the front fringes. You know when you, you'll know them when you see them. Come and find me when you've finished.
Let's see. So I gotta go talk to these guys first before we head out. But no, um, probably in here. Oh, here's an officer that he's talking about. Wait, I know you. Lieutenant XP of the Maelstrom. It's an honor to meet you. I was living hand-to-mouth in Uldah, Dop and decided to enlist in the flames after I heard tales of your daring do. And now, as fate would have it, I've been sent here to join in the fight for my homeland's liberation. Ah, but this is no time to talk. I've got to prepare for the operation. Take care, Lieutenant. We'll give those Imperial horse sons what for. Horse sons. Horse sons? Horse sons. Is that like saying son of a bitch, sons of bitches? <laughs> Horse sons. Old English. Or as my brother calls it, ye old English every time. You know what's interesting, guys? My older brother just finished the Stormblood MSQ, and he's just he keeps telling me he's shocked that this is looked at as the worst expansion. He actually he actually liked this over Heaven Sword, surprisingly. To each their own, I suppose. I think Heaven Sword's better, but is Horror allowed on Twitch? Uh, apparently not. Auto mod tried to stop that. I chime in with the haven't you people ever heard of? Closing the goddamn door, no. <laughs> what a shame the poor groom's ride is a whore. I just think every time I see whore, I think of that song. I say, if it isn't the lad who helped me find the ward I misplaced. Ah, but there I go again, treating you as an equal. If it wasn't till after you'd be you'd gone that one of my comrades pulled me aside and told me it was the only bleeding hero of Eorze who'd taken time out of his busy day to help me. Well, what is done is done. But know that I will fight with every ounce of my strength in this coming battle, and the next and the next. Mayhap that will serve to repay the favor. Fare you well. Wait, which expansion's better? Someone said Stormblood over Heavensward? My brother said so. Yeah, my older brother. Try not to gather pitchforks, but yeah, that's that's what he said, surprisingly. I really enjoyed the whole Dragon War and uh, the music. I think just we're the our, the here the Warrior of Light was just at such a low point at the beginning of Heaven Sword, right, right after a Realm Reborn, just being icy cold and just freezing, nowhere to go, and you go into the gates of Ishgard. I don't know, just something about that. So it was crazy for me. Andrew, am I right? I doubt you remember me, but I'll never forget you. Save my life and little Alamigo you did. Wilrid and the rest of us had gotten to our heads that if we had enough crystals, we could summon Ralgar like the Amalja, summon their god. Thankfully, you put a stop to it. Ever heard about what happened to Wilrid? Joined the Braves when they came calling, only to turn up dead one day. Never found out how or why, but I reckon it doesn't matter. Dead's dead after all. Excuse me, sorry. But at least he died doing what he thought was right, and maybe that's the best folks like us can do, can hope for, eh? Not that I'm in a hurry, mind. What's the auto mod level? There's different levels. It's, it must be. I want to turn it off because this is just ridiculous. I think I was really paranoid because when I used to stream on YouTube, these dumb little kids, um, us. Uh, raided my YouTube chat, and they all kept spamming the N-word, and nothing got modded. So I think that's why I made it really strict, but, um... What's really funny is they're not very intelligent, because... They kind of doxed themselves. Because he donated money using his mom's PayPal, just so he could try to get the N-word to be said on Texas speech. And I look him up, it's a kid. He's like, there's no way he's older than, like, 13. Um... When he paid with PayPal to donate to me, it showed his mom's first and last name in her email. Oh, his mom's first and last name in his email. I was able to do some Google searches and like, like, bro, that's like, do you not realize what you're doing? You're trolling someone. You're giving away like where you are. Like you could. Luckily, I'm not. A, I'm not vindictive, but I mean, someone could do some real damage if they, you know, if some if that happened to someone else. I don't know if that happened to someone else. So, really unintelligent. Yeah, I'll take a look, because it's just ridiculous. I mean, even the word dumb got auto-modded once. I was like, really? Or stupid, I think, got auto-modded. You probably should have told her. I thought about it. I should have emailed her. and just been like, hello, your son just used your credit card. 
Are you okay with this? I just like didn't feel like putting the effort in. I almost feel like he would have been he would have felt like he won, you know. You know how trolls are when they they bothered you so much and then you they get the reaction out of you. They're like, "Aha!" But I could have, I suppose. Next time maybe I will. She probably found out when she saw the statement. Hopefully she's keeping track. I know a lot of people don't look at the statements and fraudulent charges come by and they don't even notice. Probably got his ass beat, hopefully. I just thought it was really hilarious that um, he was spamming the N-word on, um, on my stream. And then I go onto his Instagram profile and it shows him at a BLM rally. He's African American too, so I guess, you know, it's cool that he, you know, he could say it, but he was using it for the purpose of trying to troll, but then he goes to a, a social justice rally. So I'm like, what, dude? I'm like, what? It's like, so you, you want justice for people, but then you think it's totally cool to bother strangers on the internet. Like, that's just weird. Like, it's, I don't know, that, that's just really backwards to me. People are just ridiculous, man. But he's young, that's why I was like, yeah, I'm just not gonna bother. You've had a word with his men I mentioned then? He went for clout? Oh, for sure. As most people do, <laughs> unfortunately, when they post it on the internet like that, showing off. Kinda kills it. So I'm sure you notice they have another thing in common aside from tragedy. You've touched each other's lives in one way or in another. That's not the reason I wanted you to speak with them. A man who's lived in Yerbanya his entire life, who bore witness to the realities of the occupation for 20 unbroken years. A man who fled Alamigo in search of a new life, who swore to serve another nation, only for fate to conspire to send him back here. A youth born on foreign soil, who never knew his parents' homeland, yet nevertheless felt kinship with our cause. Three men, three stories, three reasons, yet all belong to the resistance. In growing larger, we've grown more diverse, and while there is a good in that, there's also the potential for strife and discord. It take a special sword to lead such men to Alamigo, don't you think? Someone like Lise, you mean? That's who I was thinking of. Hey, how you doing, Malachi? What's up, man? Doing really well. How are you? Malachi, thanks for coming to my Super Mario RPG stream. It meant a lot to me. I might stream it again. No, I can't this weekend. I'm going to be out of town this weekend and next weekend, but... And this Friday, I'm probably going to stream uh, Mario Golf, but I might make Thursday, like, Mario RPG Day or something, because I just had so much fun playing it. Super Mario RPG, dude, that was my jam. Oh, yeah. Same here. Yeah, I streamed it last uh, Sunday. Uh, yesterday. <laughs> last Sunday. That was just yesterday. Usually, I'm out and about on the weekends, but... Um, yeah, my wife was working on cosplay stuff. We had finished all of our chores for the day, except for my meal prepping, which I forgot to do. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stream, do a weekend stream, what the heck? So I streamed Mario RPG, Super Mario RPG. I'm sad I haven't seen Gino in a major role since. Oh my god, same here. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, maybe two days out of the week or something, I'll play Super Mario... One or two days out of the week, I'll play Mario RPG games. Because there's Super Mario RPG and there's Paper Mario... I never beat Paper Mario, and I never played the thousand year door um on gamecube so very behind i did beat super mario rpg though but i kind of wanted to do them all in order just because i love those games rpgs are the way to go i'm very sad that the newest paper marios aren't rpgs anymore thousand year door is amazing really all right i'm gonna have to play it i got my gamecube controllers working oh <laughs> I, f I dug them out of the garage so um yeah i got my hands on that for some reason one of my GameCube controllers sounds like there's a spare part or a loose part in it. Like when you, it sounds like it's a rattler when you shake the controller. So hopefully, and the other one that doesn't have that sound has like a slightly broken wire. So I put some uh, electric tape on it. Hopefully those hold up. We'll see. Maybe I'll make um, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday um, be Final Fantasy days and like Thursday, Friday be Nintendo days or something. We'll see. We'll have to see. I see we're of one mind. She'll have to make the decision for herself, of course. You've traveled with her, been by her side when she's had to make hard choices. You've seen her at her worst and her best. If, she, if you think she's got it in her, then she does. Look after her, Andrew. She's our future and my hope. 
I trust I didn't say this conversation is just between you and me? Fourteen nod. Right, lad. Good lad. Right, then. We'd best head to Castellum Corvi. Or what remains of it, rather. I can't wait to play Thousand Year Door. I just love the GameCube in general, you know? Super Nintendo is my very first Nintendo console. And I had everything else, basically, after that. Um, I don't know why I never played Thousand Year Door. I probably, like, wanted to be... I was probably being stubborn because I wanted to make sure I finished um, first Paper Mario first. I've seen my brother beat Paper Mario, but I haven't. Your first was the NES? Lucky you. Did You know what? I played the NES at a friend's house, and I learned to hate it because I played Duck Hunt. I'm quite the nerd rager with games, so... Uh, that's why Final Fantasy XIV is good for me. There's not a lot to rage at, in my opinion. The game's so chill. Even, like, kind of hard... Well, then again, I haven't done extreme con or con savage content, but... um. This kind of stuff is so chill, so I don't really get mad. If you guys ever watched my Mario Kart streams before I started playing this, <laughs> I was really loud. I hated the dang dog. Yeah. I remember on Newgrounds back in the day, there was this Flash game where you actually got to shoot the dog. It was awesome. I would usually never condone shooting a dog, because I love dogs, but that dog in Duck Hunt? Fuck that dog. <laughs> Pissed me off every time. I told my wife. She thinks it's hilarious that the dog laughs at me. I am curious to, you guys, to what you guys think. Um, what? Let me put 10 minutes on this. What do you prefer to watch? Loud streamers? Chill streamers? Both slash doesn't matter. Sega Genesis was also good times. That was my very first console period. I had Sega consoles first. I had the Sega Genesis and the Sega Saturn. And I had the Sega Pico. I'm curious because I kind of watch a little mix of loud streamers and chill streamers and like some some in between. But I'm curious to what do you guys like to watch? Or like if not streamers, like YouTubers even. Or gamers in general. Because I really love watching Dashy on YouTube. He's freaking like the loudest streamer. And I think it's hilarious when people like Peter Park yell all the time in his stream. But then there's also, like, Saikuno, who I really like, who's really chill. And Ryan Higa, really, really chill. I was wondering, what are you guys into? Sega Genesis was just amazing. I played, my like, Lost Vikings was my favorite game on it, I think, if I recall correctly. Dashy, you know the name? Oh, Dashy? Yeah, Dashy Games. Dashy XP, he's the reason I have the XP in the name, besides for Windows XP. I love Dashy. He's retweeted me twice. Um, he did a live stream on on uh, Instagram where he was assembling a desk, and I I was recording his his uh, live stream because I knew he was gonna say something silly, and he ended up saying use the inner holes, not the other holes. And then I posted it on Twitter with no context, and I guess he thought it was funny because he retweeted it. It was awesome. I was so happy. I was like, Senpai noticed me. Oh my god, it's Dashy. Yeah, Dashi was one of the biggest inspirations for me to get into, like, gaming, con feel confident enough to stream games. I was like, oh, I want to be just like him when I grow up. Dashi! I watched him play, uh, Phasmophobia with Delirious Cartoons and Dead Squirrel. He is so funny, isn't he? I think Dashi, that's the thing about Dashi is, like, I would feel insecure playing Mario Kart like him because he is so funny. And I'm like, man... Like, it, like, you know, everyone's different, and I shouldn't compare myself to him, because, you know, he's a t different person. But, like, I, I, every now and then, I'm like, man, I just... Like, why do I even do it? There's Dashy's already doing it, and he's doing it better, and he's funny. Like, why do I even do it? But... No, everyone has their own uniqueness, so... <laughs> now and then, I get hard on myself about that. We'll lead the way while the others... While the other units launch their own separate attacks. Remember that we need to hold out until Monago sees the flag. Just have fun with it. That's true. You know what? It's so, it's really tough. You know, with streaming, it's it's really fun. Like I said, um, I stream five days a week. And even though I streamed five days yesterday, I was, like, craving it. I was like, man, I miss streaming. Like, I only had one day off, and I was like, I miss streaming. But every now and then, it's really easy to, um, because with streaming, as much as, like, we don't like to look at it that way, everyone else streaming at the same time is kind of competition which kind of sucks because you don't want it to be that way like i like making friends at stream 
But, you know, depending on how you look at it, I guess some people see it as, like, competitors or whatever. And then I'm always thinking of, like, am I entertaining enough? Am I annoying people? Am I scaring people away? Will people come back? Um, if I do too much variety, will people leave because I've switched games? Or if I stick to one game too much, will people get bored? Is there nothing unique about me? Could someone just watch someone else that plays the same game, but does it better or is more entertaining? Like, there's all these thoughts, and like you gotta like not think about that when you're streaming and just have fun. It's so hard not to, though, sometimes. That's my thinking out loud. Got your gear in order? Any moment now. Oh, boy. Oh, it's daytime now. It's begun then. It's common fears to have. Yeah, because like I always ask my wife, I'm like, what is unique about me? She's like, you're charming. You got the Andrew charm. That's what people always say to me, and I'm like, well, I don't know what that means. Like, there's people that are funny. There's people that are like really good at games, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm neither of those though. Like, why do people watch me? <laughs> like, that's, like I'm not good at games, and I'm not really all that funny either. So like, why would anyone watch me? And, like, that's her answer. She's like, oh, it's charm. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. But I don't think I don't see it. So. You know, it's easy for us to look at our own flaws, I guess. So I'm like, I have no idea why anyone would watch me. But I'm glad people do watch, you know. So, very grateful for all you guys. Good. It's the waiting that drives me mad. Standing around, knowing what's to come. I'll never get used to it. That's how I feel before I stream. Or I used to play in a band, and before I'd go on stage, I'd feel super anxious. But actually, streaming is super fun and great. I don't feel nervous at all, but leading up to it, I'm like, <gasps> it's all stream time. Calm down, Nargo. You're making her nervous. We've come this far, haven't we? We just need to make it the rest of the way. Is this gonna go well? Right. Cool that we got another guy with the echo here. Looks like the bastards went for the bait. The bridge is ours for the taking. All right. Now remember, Monaco, I want you to make for the tower as soon as you see an opening and get that flag flying. We'll see to the fighting. I won't let you down, sir. Don't deviate from the plan, Monaco. Rolga's star shall burn bright this day. Oh boy. First thing I do is get this going. Oh, no mounting. Alright, follow the leader here. Wait, who are we hitting? Oh nice, I stealth just in time. Ah, feels good. I haven't done my here Final Fantasy rotation since Friday. Or since Thursday. There we go. Keep on moving. I still just love that I'm wearing the freaking Im Imperial outfit here. Huh, what next? Oh, we're probably gonna get hit with another wave any second now. I know 14's pacing. 
Okay, got everything refreshed. Token force left. All right, let's do it. AOE everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not to die here, jeez. Cool there. Oh, I thought I was gonna kill him with that attack. Oh, jeez, that kind of struck me. <laughs> okay, let's ride on this. Do you survive this? Oh, how dare you! Oh, I can't hit you. I should probably get this cannon, huh? There we go. Oh my god, that uh, is a lot of damage. Oh jeez, okay, no, let's not stand in this. Jeez. Put a dot on this one. I don't think it'll survive the full minute though. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I should have been hitting this thing first. I'm stupid. <laughs> There we go. Think you're clever with all your little tricks? Think again. None of you are leaving here alive. Oh, shoot. Oh shoot, I need to get my buff back up. There we go. I always forget, Suiton? What the hell is this called? Hey! Oh, she has a gun blade. Ooh, I'm gonna move out of this. Don't touch! Please don't touch me! Can I interrupt this? Oh, it's thunder. Nice. Wait. Oh, can I not hit these things? Guess not. Ooh. Oh, it's almost trick attack time. And she got a lot of health. Still got eight seconds left to my stun. Can't stop it. Ooh. This is my bridge! You're not taking this from me. Just you wait, lady. Alright, I can stun this one. Oh, never mind. Resisted. Eh! Ah! Pushed me into that. Friend. Right, let's uh, use a defensive here. Hey. Oh, to get my buff back up, running out. Ah. Oh. I'll cut you to pieces. Nope. Oh shit, yes, maybe. I walked in there just a second too early, I think. Ah! 
Oh, I got her. Finally. I thought I was going to die. Um. Uh. What do I do now? Oh, okay. There we go. We're good. Hooray. There we go. God damn you. No more running. No more hiding. Let's finish this. Oh, she's going to run. Is the flag up? Did we do it? Look, the flag. Bridge is ours! Alamigo! 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 Yeah! Nice. Did it work? Did it trick them? Stand your ground! Wait, it's no. Not over yet. Don't listen to her. Damn it! Yeah, I knew she was gonna run. Let them go, Lise. We've done what we came here to do. That's enough for now. She was ready to finish her off. Ooh. Oh god, this is a bloody one. Ugh. Uh oh. Is it shaking our forces? Ah, the bull of Alamigo with just one arm. That should boost the morale a bit. Sorry, bro. We have them on the run. Forward. No mercy. Regroup. Regroup. We have to regroup. All units. Fall back. You have lost. Ah, oh, that must feel good for him. Man, how bad would it be to survive and say that you got your ass kicked by a one-armed man? Seriously. <laughs> we'll be at the mercy of the enemy's reinforcements if we don't fall back now. Idiot. We have the stronger force by far. Don't be taken in by their tricks. Or would you rather tell Zenos you lost to this rabble? No. But if the snakes betray us in the confusion, we'll have no way out. I'm begging you, Commander. Give the order or we'll all die here. As common traitors who drank of muddied waters for all the good it did us. School's with me! The day is theirs, and so is this bastard bridge. Someone bring the snake. Hooray. It's our first victory, isn't it? And that has to be worth something. Hey. It is something. We outsmarted them.
It's a shame for Dola got away, but we did what we came here to do. I have to remind myself that it's just the first step, but it's a big one. We're going to take it back. All of it. One ilm at a time if we have to. There's still a chance that some Imperials are holed up inside the Castellum. We'll need to search it top to bottom to be sure it's safe. In the meantime, I want you to rendezvous with the main host. Keep your weapons at the ready. There's a chance you might come face to face with soldiers on the run en route. On second thought, it might be prudent for you to do prudent for you to do a preemptive sweep of the region for soldiers that have gone to ground. We shouldn't afford them any time to regroup and launch a counterattack. When you've judged your work to be done, report to General Alden in, in a bitter mill. Alright guys, sorry that the stream was a little bit shorter today. I had to start a little bit later just because of work ending a little bit late and me needing to nap after work and all of that. But um, I'll be back tomorrow playing some more Final Fantasy XIV, continuing the story. So I just gotta say thank you to everyone that's here, all the new people from the raid, welcome. Uh, to anyone that is new, all lurkers as well, just um, consider following if you enjoyed the stream today. Like I said, I stream Mondays through Thursdays at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time, and that's Final Fantasy. Then Fridays, I at the same time, I do variety games. Um, but yeah, of course, the best way to know when I go live is to follow and click the bell to turn on notifications. Like yesterday, I randomly went live on a Sunday, which is not typical, so don't want to miss that. Also, consider joining my Discord server. Got some cool people in there. It's a little community. Really fun stuff. I got Twitter, YouTube. VOD's channel where I re-upload my past live streams. Uh, I've got an Instagram, and um, that's it. Just want to say thank you again to everybody, and um, hopefully see you all tomorrow, same time, 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. All right, later, guys.